Chronic inflammation is a major driver in the breakdown and leakiness of the blood-brain barrier. The pericyte cells, guardians of the barrier, have to physically get out of the way to respond to neuroinflammation, letting immune cells in and ultimately promoting leaks. This leads to a vicious cycle culminating in loss of capillaries and neurons. Many factors promote inflammation, obesity, being sedentary, excessive alcohol intake, and smoking, among others. We can't pick our genes, but reducing these factors in our lives will improve our aging. As we age, we, uh, there's a phenomenon called inflam inflammatory. So it's a contraction of inflammation and aging. And there's several things happening as we age. So as we age, we have more inflammation going on, and we know that there is uh, more um, uh, cell adhesion molecules to site one. So there's cell adhesion molecules that start to be expressed at the endothelium. And the brain is very uh, sensitive to that, to that because these cell adhesion molecules, what they do is they collect the immune cells from the brain, uh, from the blood, sorry, to bring them into the brain. The more you have, the more inflammation, the, what we call neuroinflammation, the more inflammation you have in your brain. So that's a normal aging process. And the fact that those cell endothelial cells turn into a pro-inflammatory phenotype, the pericyte will have to detach because to let the, the immune cells go through. Physically, if the pericyte stays attached to the, vas to the vessel, there is no possibility possibility for the, the immune cells to go through and do their job. So the fact that there is more inflammation of the vasculature as we age, there is more detachment, like uh, I would say physiological detachment of brain pericytes. That's one thing. And we, there's some report that uh, as we age, there is less, we, we don't have the capability, I mean, the pericytes don't have the capability to reattach.